What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Drop brought to you by Tar Heel Illustrated.com. I'm THI staff writer Jacob Turner. Joining me as he always does. You guys know who he is, our very own publisher, Andrew Jones and, and AJ. I'm looking forward to this this drop, man. A, because well, I'll preface this. You told me off camera that you told me this story at some point, and you probably have, but I don't I, I don't remember the story based on the what you've given me so far, which is very limited. So it's going to be a pretty natural reaction for me in terms of I'm technically hearing this for the first time, even if maybe you told me in years past, because no, in it's theory, you're hearing not, it for the first time. It's not in the memory bank right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll reference this because this is the only thing I know about the story. I know it's got Bobby Frazier. I know it's got Marcus Gaynard, and I know it, got, <laughs> it has Tyler Hansborough in it. In that trio alone, I know it's going to be a fantastic story. But And, and Cupcakes. As- which Cupcakes is cakes and cookies and bread and, I, so and all that kind of stuff. I'll let you take over AJ. Take me, take me on a story. I'll, I'll sit back. I'll relax and, and I'll listen up. Take me through the Bobby Frazier, Marcus skin, your Tyler Hansborough cupcakes and other baking materials story. I'm looking forward to hearing it. First of all, before I do that, I thought as you can find a lot of my star news stuff online. Still, we were just talking a minute ago. Like I can't find any of my stuff from Fox sports online. Mm-hmm. I can't, I, I used to do that TV show, the new college football show with Tommy Bowden and James Bates. I can't find that anywhere either, but I can find a lot of my star news stuff. And I, you could find this article. I thought I sent it to you. I thought I, I told you a story. I thought I sent it to you. Just, I just found, else, I but, just found that Davidson. No, no, that's not the one. No opening day cupcake. No, no, no. Is that, is that the. No, no, probably, no. It's about, probably not you it. can find it. Just Google my name, star news online. Hansborough and cupcakes. It'll pop. I'm, 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 I'm gonna look for it while you talk because I want to see if I can. Well, find. the story is with that team, they were kicking everybody's tail so much, and I was with the woman to Star News at the time. They wanted me writing a centerpiece every Tuesday. And I found it. By the way, only- AJ, sorry to interrupt you. I did find it. Getting in the getting in his kitchen, the Tyler Hansborough. You may not know. I'm yeah, gonna see if I'm gonna go. see if I can link this below. This is written back in 2008 by by 2008, excuse me, by our very well, own Andrew Jones. This is the most organic daily drop in history. How does it? How does the lead start? Read it. Let's see. Might Ryan well. Rosner won't ever forget the first time he saw Tyler Hansborough play basketball. That's how we're starting the story off. Okay. I'm interested. It, I'm, so, I'm not going to read it on here, but I I, I know I, it involves cupcakes at some point. <laughs> I think what it, it, I think I laid the description of this bull in a china shop on the basketball court, and then he's delicate with cupcakes <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> so anyway, when I was at the Star News, they wanted us doing centerpieces, and I did all kinds of centerpieces. I, what it would do is I usually would get a one-on-one interview with an athlete from Duke State, Carolina, or Wake. Like I did Chris Paul. I've told you the Chris Paul story, mm-hmm. JJ Reddick, Sean May, all that kind of stuff. So I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun getting to know some of these kids and, and just the Chris Paul one was about his grandfather. It wasn't long after his grandfather died. It was about a night. He, he talked a lot about scoring 61 points in a high school game the night his grandfather died. And he told me that it was the worst shooting game he had ever had. He felt like his grandfather was guiding the ball in the basket for him. Amazing stuff. So you could find that too. And that's, uh, that was one of my, favorite stories to write because it was a different style. This was a different style too. So I was, I was trying to get something on Tyler. I want to write something about Tyler that, that nobody knew because it had been so done over and over and over at that point. And I believe this was his junior year. You'll check the date line on that. Was that? Oh, March 13th, 2008. So that would have been the yeah, 2008 so that was junior year. Yeah. Junior year. Yep. End of his. Yeah. Junior. So, so, um, so I asked, the two guys that knew him the best, his roommates, Bobby Frazier and Marcus Ginger, also knowing that Bobby and Marcus would gladly participate in any kind of dishing on Tyler Hansborough, because Tyler's not going to reveal that stuff himself. Bobby, of course, lived for stuff like that. So I went to Bobby. I went to Marcus, I think, first, and I asked him, what can you talk about, Tyler? Nobody knows that I could go ask Tyler about and that he might talk about he said, might talk about, he started thinking, he said, how about, you know, he goes, you know what? He's got this girlfriend. He goes over there and he comes home and he's got like cupcakes and he's got cookies, sometimes some brownies. And he said, ask Bobby. He, Bobby's always raiding it and eating them. 
So I go ask Bobby about it. Of course, Bobby goes more, offers more detail. He's like, oh, yeah. I said, well, Marcus said, Tyler does this. He says, oh, yeah. He says, he comes home. He goes, man, he says, he's got frosting in his fingernails. He said he does the cupcakes with the little sprinkles on them. Oh, God. <laughs> so I go to Tyler. And Tyler's sitting down. He's like right here. I'm standing. And he's still almost eye to eye when he's sitting down. And I waited for some people to leave. And I told him, I said, okay, so I'm looking at, I'm working on doing a story on you that's something very, very different. And I wanted to get asked Bobby and Marcus. And right away, he's like, oh. Because he <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, God, no, right? please don't. <laughs> I said, so. So they tell me that you're, you become quite the baker. I'm paraphrasing the conversation right now. And he's like, looking and sort of like, oh, oh no. So Bobby says that you go to your girlfriend's and you come back and you got all these cupcakes and cookies and brownies. He said, you even have like, right. He said you had sprinkles in your fingertips one time. And too, it was like, oh man, he's getting kind of agitated about it. I said, well, they're saying you do. So mm -hmm. I, I think maybe I'll write about this. And he's, and you know, Tyler like would move his head back and forth a lot. And he finally said, okay, yeah, I go over there and every once in a while a cupcake or a cookie pops out of the oven. Just classic, classic. Tyler. It's funny because I can see knowing Hansborough and his personality, especially back then. I can see it's it's funny because he was obviously so embarrassed about it, but he, there's no hiding it. You know, his head's no, moving. He you can tell like he it. doesn't want to talk about it. And he, he there's no smoothness in Hansborough back then. It's it, you, you can but see exactly how he's feeling right on his face. That's great. But he, yeah, absolutely. And I would imagine that the two of them paid the rent for it later. <laughs> Some of those shirtless ping pong things they did. Oh they yeah, the ping pong. Jump, I think Hansburg jumped off the roof into a pool. That was like one of the first. That was that. That was that spring. That was like one of the first viral social media videos back in the day on Twitter, yeah, like yeah. of Hansborough doing this because you didn't really have that before then. That was I remember that video like it was yeah, yesterday. That house that those guys had, they they thank their lucky stars. People, not everybody had a camera on their phone back then. <laughs> oh God, man. Oh Just man. Believe it at that. But anyway, so. We get a couple of weeks later and as they're going along in the tournament and, and we were in, what was the regional final in 08? Um, uh, it was, was the year they Charlotte. lost to Kansas. Was it Charlotte? Yeah, it was in Charlotte. It was in Charlotte. It was the, were the regionals. So it's the day before they played Louisville, maybe. Yeah, it was the breakout interviews the day before they played Louisville and Charlotte. And the breakout interviews the day before Elite Eight are each of the starters in a different room or a cordoned off area. So you go in there and you have interviews with them. They're open. They're there for like 45 minutes or whatever. So that way you can have a little bit more time with each guy. It's not a bunch of dudes up at the dais. So I went into Tyler and there was, I think they were adjusting his microphone or doing something. And I'm standing like three feet away from him. I said, I see you still baking cupcakes as we're waiting. And he just started laughing. He goes, come on, man. And there's other <laughs> national media there. And some of them heard that. I think they ended up asking him about it. And somebody, a couple of people may have run some national stories, but he was still embarrassed about it, but he <laughs> did it. And that's why the story I wrote, I was talking about a guy who had seen him, you know, lifting weights and just being this bull in a China shop. And here he is. Can you imagine with oven mitts and pulling out co cookies and cup? I mean, the thing, the best thing for Bobby and the look on his, if I could recreate this moment where he said, and he had like, he's, telling me everything and then he had to add and he had sprinkles on it <laughs> that to me was the icing on the cake so that's that was great. great stuff that's great man I'm, I'm actually looking at the story right now and, and Frazier described Hansbro jokingly as a delicate little flower and i think that's just yeah. hilarious you even have it quoted in the story aj when you start diving into the cupcake part come on man come on no way Hansbro posted protested recently so even some direct quotes from Hansbro, just oh man it's fantastic oh, yeah. but it's he fantastic. gave in Tyler's a good guy, man. Remember this past year, he was there when Armando broke the rebound record, and I, I went over and asked him after the game if he'd answer a few questions, and he was great. We have yeah, no, our, he's fantastic. On our YouTube channel, yeah, no, he's fantastic. I'm gonna read one more quote from the story, AJ, because to summarize kind of what you've been saying, um, he said, "I'm not gonna lie, my girlfriend loves to cook, and so every once in a while there'll be some brownies pop out, and I'll bring them over to the house, and the guys will eat them, and yes, I will help out. I love that last line, and yes." I will help out. Like he's not in there doing the exact same thing that his girlfriend was doing at the time. He, he wasn't baking the cookies, AJ. He was just helping out a little bit. And that to me 
is the fantastic quote from Tyler Hansborough trying to act like you. Ain't no shame in baking cookies, AJ, right? What no kind of oven mitt do you have to have oh, for God. a six foot nine Tyler Hansborough? And I mean, as competitive as he was too, I'm assuming he wanted his cupcake to look better than his girlfriend's, right? I'm assuming there had to be oh, some kind yeah. of internal competition there, whether he made it, whether he made it public to her or not. I could see him getting a little defensive about his cupcake. Maybe his girlfriend kind of chuckled at it. I could see my him chocolate getting a chip, defensive. My chocolate chip cookies are chewier than yours. Yeah, literally though. Oh, it's fantastic, man. That, that's great stuff. It's a great story. I, I think you told me that story at some point, but I didn't remember the whole context of it. And I'll link that article below so people can go check it out. Cause it, I'm actually reading as you're talking and it's, it's a fan. It's funny. It's a fantastic article. And, because because I think it's the funniest because not only Hansbro, he, he back then especially he he wasn't a guy that could hold his emo, hide his emotions very well. You, you, you could see how Hansbro was feeling at the time. I mean, just go think about him hitting the shot and gets for Virginia Tech in the ACC tournament. I mean, that kind of sums up him in the best way possible. But the fact that he's just so noticeably embarrassed and did not want to talk about it. It just makes the story that much better. If he, I think if did. he would have just acted but like he still didn't did. care, wouldn't have made it, wouldn't have been as good. Yeah, as but he still did talk about it. That yeah. was what, that's why I could write the piece. Still actually. If he would have said, it. I'm not going there. No way. I wouldn't have written a piece. I didn't, I wouldn't have embarrassed him. Yeah. No, but no, he no, went no, along no. with it. And that yeah. to me is what made the piece. And, and hands. So Fraser, Bobby, and I see Marcus every once too. in a while. I see Marcus and Dino every once in a while. He's a wonderful dude. And if, if the two of them, if Bobby or, or Marcus or even Tyler ever hear this, uh, Tyler will probably go, come on, man. He'll probably still do that. But the other two, they'll crack up. Maybe uh, Tyler will crack up now. That's great stuff, man. It's a fantastic story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. AJ's got plenty. Of, we'll have to do some more drops maybe on some stories like this that you can tell us about from your time covering Carolina over the last 20 plus years. Because there are a lot, a lot from other schools too, but I don't think they would apply on and, and Edge, there's Illustrated some stories site. that we're definitely not talking about on a podcast. <laughs> I'll leave it at yeah. that, but that's just how it goes, man. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll link the article below from 2008 Wilmington Star News. You can go read that and check it out. Fantastic story and, and just a fantastic trio right there in, ter in terms of uh, what they brought off the court to Carolina at the time because they, they just absolutely loved poking fun at, at Tyler Hansborough, their roommate, and, and he was a great guy to poke fun at when you under if you if you really know his personality. Fun everybody. Yeah. Yeah, but Hansborough, I think, everybody. was his. I think Tyler was his favorite to do, for sure. Because he, he just, man, he, he, he you, you couldn't hide. Hansborough was a great was basketball player, but ago, horrible at hiding his emotions, and that's not a bad. Jacob, thing. That was fifteen years ago, and those conversations are so vivid in my head right now. Wow, man, it's what makes the, it's what makes our job fun too, man. You get to hear stories like that, write stories like that, and get to know these guys on a little bit more of a personal, off the court level, which a lot of fans don't get to see, and that's what again what makes the job so fun so we'll go ahead and wrap this one up i've been jacob turner he's been andrew jones if you like if you enjoyed the story thought it was funny go ahead and like the video below we appreciate y'all watching hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too so you know every single time we put out a daily drop thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one thanks